This question asks us to compare two different race times of two different people. This is a little different than what we've done in the past. Before we've talked about the change in value divided by the original value. Another way of thinking of that denominator isn't just original value, it's what we're comparing to. So in the case of part A, Bolt's time is being compared to Heinz time, that means I know my denominator has to be Heinz time because I'm comparing it to Heinz. Now look at the numerator. I want to look at how much his time, Bolt's time, was faster than Heinz. Faster than means we're going to have to do a subtraction. We want to see the difference between those two. So my numerator will be 9.95 minus 9.63, which gives us this fraction and that as a decimal. Now I need this in terms of a percent, so that means I need to move the decimal place over once twice to the right. And since I need around to two decimal places after I've converted to a percent, I'll look at the tens place. I see the number to the right of that is five or greater. So that means my final answer will be 3.22%. Part B will be the same setup, but now I'm looking at comparing it to Bolt's time. I'm still interested in the difference, how much Heinz time was slower than Bolt's time. So my numerator in this case is actually not going to change. I'll get my percent in decimal form, and then finally I'll round. And I get that the percent that Heinz time was slower than Bolt's is 3.32%. Finally, part C, Heinz time was what percent of Bolt's? Again, the first thing I'm going to do is the denominator. I'm talking about comparing it to Bolt's time, so I know my 9.63 has to go in the denominator. In this case, instead of looking at the difference between the times, how much faster or slower one is than the other, what I'm going to do is put simply Heinz time. And when I do that, I get this as an answer for the percent of Heinz time to Bolt's time. Now this is again in decimal form, so I'll move the decimal place over once twice to the right to get a percent, and then finally round to two decimal places. And there we have it.